Alrighty, we're down to the final four loads to be testing through the EDC X9. We have three Black Hills Jack to the Hollow Points loads and the one Underwood load. The first of the three Black Hills loads we're going to be testing out is the 115 grain Jack to the Hollow Point Extra Power. Extra Power sounds like it would be plus P, but according to the literature, this is actually in between standard pressure and a plus pressure. We are testing out two different plus pressure loads from Black Hills, but this one here is just the Extra Power load. So, the, the bullet design's uh, fairly modern, and I've had good luck with Black Hills rifle ammo before, but I've never shot any of their handgun stuff. So what we're going to do here is five rounds on the top BA on the right target, and then we will uh, reholster and shoot a test, and then we will go and do some retention shooting with this ammo. Let's see how we do. Whew. Okay. So uh, first impressions, just initial rounds fired. If that is extra power, I'm looking forward to what the plus P is because truthfully that felt pretty stout for it not being a plus P load. I have one round that went out of the um, out of the black and that was just me again, just a bad guillotine there at 15. Let's shoot a test and see how we do. I will say that that ammo felt very consistent. Uh, the least consistent so far today was, I want to say that the S&B ammo was pretty inconsistent so far, but um, that Black Hill stuff shoot, seems to shoot pretty well, actually. Okay, let's do a test here. Okay. And let's re-hot the gun. Again, the, the report from there, I don't know how well it's gonna come through with all the wind noise we got here. This is ammo that sounds like beefy ammo. I'll put it that way. Shot that in 795. And looking at our score here, we are at minus one, two, three, four, five. So 95. Okay, it's not too bad. Let's try out some retention shooting over here. And again, if you hadn't watched the previous videos, we're doing it like this because there's less rocks on this part of the gravel pit. I normally like to have a target up with how windy it's been. I, I've already bent my two target stands just from the wind because the rocks hold them down there. So we'll see how we do. Come up into a retention shooting position. Camera down. Okay. Whew. And with that, <laughs> I can tell you for the retention shooting, not that it's uncomfortable, but it certainly felt like there was a little bit more muzzle blast or flash there as we were doing our five rounds, but no malfunctions. And again, earlier I had a couple of malfunctions where I'd have the gun kind of locked to about this point and then get stuck there. And I think it was due to the follower on the magazine I was using. So far, these two magazines I've been testing for the last four or five ammos have not had that issue. So it is what it is. Let's try out the next Black Hills load.